Yo, question. What's up? How the fuck do I get drunk on Johnny Walker? Like, do I do I take shots on your body? Do I drink you? That sounds mad sus, bro. Like, I need to know what you mean by that. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is why I love the AO Chill podcast because he's asking the questions that people want to the know. The real questions. And, 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 and if we don't have actual good investigation journalism, what do we have in life? So th- that is answered. You can get drunk off of Johnny Walker in any way you please. Mm. I mean, leave it up to. Le- le- I'll let you leave that up to the imagination. Yo. <laughs> anyway, real quick, let the people know who you are, where you're from, even though we just said you're Johnny Walker. All right, so my name is Johnny Walker, uh, Drunk on Johnny Walker on IG. Um, yeah, and I'm from um, all over Jersey, man. Shout out to Jersey, putting on for Jersey. I love the state. I'm born and raised here. Let's really take it to the moon. Um, it, it, it's always an honor to be on the AO Chill podcast, so shout out to you guys. I appreciate it, y'all. I appreciate it. So, you know, we've been telling all the artists today, because we've been here a couple of times already, We've been asking everybody. So Mad Minds is obviously we're all about uh, creating a community and cultivating a culture. Absolutely. What do you think Jersey can do better to cultivate the culture that we're trying to make? So, I mean, as far as New Jersey coming together, that's the best the best option we have. So it's all about support. It's all about looking out for your homie, looking out for your dog, looking out for your neighbor, right? So. The, the, the truth of the matter is all we got to do is support each other because there's so much talent in Jersey. There's so much love in Jersey. And all the events that are coming out of Jersey, Mad Minds, um, I've been to some King Kong movement events, they're just next level. So if you're not in the Jersey scene, tap in because support is out here for real, and that's what I feel. Hell yeah, yo. And so the second question I got for you that we're asking everybody today is that a lot of people talk about artist development, you know, and uh, I think there's a whole bunch of things that you could say about that. But how could, how could an artist properly properly develop themselves to become better, a more refined artist? I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? So as far as artist development, I like to look at myself as an artist developer. Because, <laughs> you know, as an artist, you develop yourself. And I've been doing this for a long time, over like 14 years. I've been just creating music, performing, and, you know, putting my heart and soul into this, this music shit. I always say music saved my life. Life. So what I think you can do to develop yourself is just continue to learn every day. Um, if, if you want specifics, let's talk stage presence. When you're getting on stage, think about it a little bit. Think about the vibe that you want to portray when you're on stage. You know, no, think about the, the the feel. Maybe choreograph it a bit. We came here to see a show, so if you're getting on stage at the Mad Minds or wherever it is, let, let, let's get some entertainment. Let's turn it up. Um, and if we're talking about music, you know, just keep working at it every day. So there's always ways you can develop yourself as an artist, but think about brand, think about budget. Think about it like this, it's a music business, right? So you gotta be tapped into that business as well as the, the, the music, what we all love. I feel like some artists could feel very overwhelmed though, because now you, you, you've talked about, for example, you've talked about stage presence, you've talked about music, you've talked about business. Where is a good place for an artist to start? <sighs> That's actually a good question. I would say start Follow your heart. So wherever you feel like is most important. So think about it like this. The artists that you really fuck with, the artists that you actually take your time to go out and seek and listen to, the people that got you inspired to create music, what about them made you fall so in love with them or be so, you know, uh, a, a fan per se? What what made you choose to choose that artist? And then think, well, I love this about them. And then say, okay, maybe I should work on that. Let's start with that because if that artist was able to get me as a, as a fan, right? by, you know, maybe they had this great song or they made a whole album with freaking sequences and uh, different skits. Okay, so work on your album work. Okay, maybe you're like, I love Michael Jackson because he performs unbelievably. A lot of people are inspired by Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, other artists, Jacquees, myself, my, 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 myself as well. So if you love that, practice more on stage. And it's all about practice. You know, we, we talk a lot about 10,000 hours and I feel like that's valid. Word. Word. Well, I think those are great pieces of advice. I want to get into a little bit about the venue. I want to get a little bit about the vibe. So first time in the base, the basement of yeah. FOMO. What are your first impressions? Um, uh, if you if you're from Jersey, you probably know about a place called Meat Locker, and this is like Meat Locker upgraded. Word. It's like if Meat Locker was clean and a vibe. But I fuck with Meat Locker. Don't get that wrong. I fuck with Meat Locker. But honestly, down here in the basement, super dope. And you know, honestly, even the the, the AO Chill podcast setup is like upgraded. It just feels like everybody's getting to a higher level. Mad Minds with, you know, finding ways to just keep this this project of Mad Minds so new and a different experience for artists. It, it's beautiful. So I, I cannot wait to perform a little bit later tonight. Hell yeah, yo. 
Well, my friend, is there anything else you want to tell with the people, tell the, the people about any updates, or if not, we'll just close out. Absolutely. So I do want to actually talk about a new song I do have coming. First, before that, I do have a song called 42 that is out now. Just reached 11,000 streams, so I'm really happy to hear that. Um, please check it out. Spotify, Instagram, tap in. And then I got a new song coming very soon, working. Uh, right now, we're in the mixing process. That one's called Pose for the Camera. Pose for the Camera, baby. Hey, yeah, never got to do too much. You already know what's up. Pose for the Camera, baby. Look out for that one. Don't have a date yet, but follow me on IG, Drunk on Johnny Walker. And you get Drunk on Johnny Walker by drinking. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bet, bro. Appreciate you so much, dude. Take care. Best of luck, man. Absolutely. Thank you so much, bro. God bless. Thank you. That was wonderful, dude. Yeah, dude. Hey, bro. Chemistry is great. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, brother. Love, bro. Take care, man. I feel like every podcast is just getting like, stronger. I love it, bro. Thank, Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man.